Welcome back, City Setters. It is Saturday. You know what that means. It's going to be a Saturday seed haul. <sighs> yes, let's see. I got a whole bunch of seeds. You guys ever get to the point where you have a lot of seeds and it's kind of like back in the day, do you remember flipping through records or CDs at a at a store? You know, you flip through them flip, trying to find that perfect, that perfect album to listen to. That's what having a seed collection like this reminds me of. I'm just constantly flipping through it, looking for different things. Love it. So flipping through here, what are we going to do today? We are going to do the Ohio Heirloom Seed Company. We did the review on them. I'll throw the link up there. It's a pretty good review. I love the uh, minimal packaging that they did. That was one of my favorite things about it. Uh, and then I just like that they're in my area. I like to support a lot of companies closer to where I'm at, you know, local local type businesses. And they're a pretty new company, so I thought it was really fun to uh, feature them. And what did they, they had the, uh, oh, if you remember, the President Garfield tomato. Yeah, that was a tomato I had never, ever heard of before. So when I seen it, I was super, super interested in, uh, picking it up and trying it out so if you guys are familiar with how i'm going to do these seed hauls i'm going to try to tear through this the uh the haul as fast as i can because these can get kind of boring you know uh, nobody wants to see somebody else talk about seeds for 45 minutes uh, at least i don't usually <laughs> so i try to tear through it really fast because i know you guys uh time is valuable and i don't want to hold up all of your time i'm just going to point out some of the stuff i got so that you get an idea of the things you can find when you go to this place. If I sent you there, uh, these are the things that I bought personally from it that I think are going to be interesting to grow. And I just want you to have an insight as to what I'm growing and what I'm buying from some of these companies that I'm buying stuff from. So let's first talk about an herb. I bought one herb from them and I bought borage. Uh, uh, borage was becoming a new favorite herb of mine. I grew it out in the front garden last year. Uh, and I was just, I really liked the way it looked. Uh, it looked awesome. I'm probably going to grow some in the front of the house or grow some in the back of the house. Uh, but I'm going to try to figure out ways to use that, but I think it's just a good pollinator type herb and that's part of the reason I got it. I got this half dwarf Brussels sprouts. Love Brussels sprouts. Am I a fan of Brussels sprouts or not? Hmm. Let me think. We tried to grow some last year. They didn't work so well. They got eaten by that stuff. Darn woodchuck, groundhog, whatever you guys call it, you know, uh, ground bacon. <laughs> so I'm going to try to grow them again this year. I bought the uh, dwarf ones, uh, just something different, unique. I don't have dwarf ones. I have some regular Brussels sprouts, so we're going to try that and see what happens. So I ended up getting a couple of uh, root crops from there. They had a black nebula carrot. I ended up picking up that, and I picked up a daikon radish. I uh, mentioned I got some of these from Mary's also. Uh, I really just want to try to grow some of those massive uh, daikon radishes. I just think they look amazing. And have you ever seen the video, and maybe if I can find it, I'll put it in here, but the guy like takes it and like, you know, cuts it like around the outside until it's like these thin little, it's a really cool video. Uh, anyways, that's uh, something I want to try to do with it, I guess. So another thing I picked up was this rattlesnake pole bean. Uh, I got a few of those. I put some of them in the seed swap package that's been going around. So there's a good chance if they're in there, you'll be able to grab them. Uh, then if you're the next person that gets the envelope, uh, it's been in and out, in and out. It just keeps going back and back. So keep checking back because we do it almost every other week. It seems like every two weeks, uh, the envelope will be featured and be going out to somebody. And the other thing I got uh, was microgreens. And these are uh, amaranth microgreens. As I've said, I like amaranth. I'm a big fan of it. So uh, I've been purchasing it and I thought microgreens, I've never grown any kind of microgreens before at all. Uh, so that's something brand new to me. And I like that they had microgreens because a lot of places didn't seem to sell them. Uh, so I saw them and I knew right away I had to pick up some microgreens because give it a try. I just now got to get the right kind of tray uh, and then maybe I'll get some planted uh, hopefully before spring starts and actually get something growing inside maybe. Uh, so so that's kind of the goal with it. Something we eat a lot around here is greens, so I had to get a lot of greens. I got some Ford and Natillas. Yeah, I'm not even trying to say that. You guys can see what that says. Yeah, if you know how to say that, hats off. Uh, I do not, but it's lettuce, and I like lettuce. I got some Giant Noble spinach. Really like spinach. We're big spinach fans here. Got some radicho. Never grew that, but it looks really pretty. So, and uh, I like to mix in some pretty stuff in my garden. 
who doesn't, right? And then the other thing I got was blood vein sorrel. You guys know I've been fighting, fighting, and fighting, trying to grow me some sorrel. Uh, hasn't happened yet. So giving this guy, uh, these guys a chance with it, I'm going to buy some from them. I bought sorrel from a bunch of different sources, uh, just trying to find something that will uh, grow for me. Hopefully theirs does, being that they're in Ohio, close to where I'm at. I'm hoping that these are sort of regionally adapted. That would be great. All right, I made you wait to the very end for this one. I got a few different tomatoes from these guys. I love tomatoes. Like all of you guys, who doesn't love some tomatoes? Oh, I mean, that's kind of like where we always go. So we grew these a few years ago, yellow pear tomatoes. Awesome, these things did pr very prolific. Awesome producers, very great taste. Uh, so happy to get more of those. I can't ever have enough of those. I got an Anasa's Noir Organic Tomato. Uh, something I never grew before, never heard of that one. So I got a tomatillo verde. We love our salsa verde. We grew a lot of tomatillos. They kind of grow like weeds in our whole garden. Now I swear I pull a lot of those out and sometimes I just dig them up and I'll take them to somebody else and I'd be like, hey, guess what? You now have a tomatillo field. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> I like the tomatillos because we like to make our, uh, our salsa verde. Love it, it's great. Uh, what else we got? An ox heart, a lemon ox heart. I love yellow tomatoes. They're kind of like my favorite kind of tomato, so I had to get one of those. I got that President Garfield tomato I told you guys about. Very interesting. I think they said it was one of the first named varieties there was. You know how things are when it goes to history and there was no real records that people could compare back and forth. Uh, so a lot of people could claim all sorts of things. But very neat, uh, one I'd never heard of before, and one of our presidents grew it at the White House, so I'm excited to try it. Now I got the pineapple tomato, of course, as if you follow my channel at all, you know that pineapple is my absolute favorite tomato. I love it, love it, love it. I could grow all pineapple uh, tomatoes and I'd be happy as all get out. Uh, so I, that's, I, anywhere I go that I buy, I see that on a website, I'm buying it uh, just to have a huge stock of it. Uh, and I also like to trade it out. I try to put a pack of pineapple tomatoes in every uh, seed envelope when I send it out to you guys for the swap. And then the last thing I got, and I know this has been sold out some places and people are already looking for it. You guys, look at it. The Paul Robeson tomato, uh, Jess says this is one of the best tomatoes of all time. So it's definitely in her top 10 of tomatoes. I remember seeing that in the video. So if you guys are looking for the Paul Robeson tomato and you can't find it at some of the popular places, check out Ohio Heirloom Seeds because they had it and they still got it. Don't you guys just love the sound of seeds? All right, so that was the seed haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's everything I got from the Ohio Heirloom Seed Company for now. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, hope you guys enjoy these little chats about seeds, about some of the stuff I got in my collection. A little haul from the companies that I've been featuring so you guys know, hey, he really is buying from these places. That is awesome. <laughs> all right, guys, as always, remember to be bold and grow bold. Grow all the things, as Jazz would say. We'll see you guys in the very next video.